Hello everyone and welcome to Zet's Garage and welcome to the city of Milano in Italy. Today we are continuing the Koenigsegg tour with the Koenigsegg heading to Ferrari in Modena. So today we're going from Milan to Modena, it's about a two hour drive and it should hold some pretty exciting imagery. Hopefully the road should be pretty impressive and hopefully we should be able to catch a few sneak peeks here and there at the factory and maybe spot a few prototypes, who knows. But Let's see how the day goes, let's rock and roll. Okay, so we are beginning the trip from the centre of Milan to Modena today. I'm still at this point unsure if we're going to the hotel that we're staying at first and then to Ferrari or going from Ferrari to the hotel, so not sure. But I know that the Coney Sings will at some point hopefully be in front of the very famous Ferrari sign, but I want to show you guys something mega. So obviously this is just a normal car park in Milan, apart from there's a Lusso over there and there used to be an SLR here. But then you've got the Koenigseggs. Now our old Aguera doesn't look too bad until you see the Regera. And you see just how close, and that doesn't seem it, but bearing in mind that is half a foot. And then let's look at the back. And this is quite exceptional. There's also a Portofino 70th anniversary there. I mean, this is, this was unpleasant. <laughs> this was scary, but we've got to get it out all the way up there and then work out and navigate the streets of Milano. So let's get cracking. So we have arrived at Ferrari now and we are greeted by what I would call a plethora of Romas in different colours and it is the test drive part of today. So today there's test drives on the road and tomorrow there's test drives on the airfield. I have actually driven one on these of the road so my dad who is joining me on this trip is going to take this on the road and then tomorrow I can take it on an airfield. So let's uh, head over to hospitality and see what's happened. Okay, so it is now day two of the Ferrari um, tour, if you wish. Um, in true Ferrari film, it's been a complete mashup. Um, I haven't been able to video anything, haven't been able to photograph anything. We were put in a bus for two hours, showing around some buildings, we didn't see any cars. Um, and they were very, very strict on photography, obviously, which I can understand. Um, but then there were some points in which I would have liked to have been able to take you guys along, such as when they showed us the FXX room, so like the, the XX program, but obviously all the cars in there everyone knows about, but they don't want people photographing. Makes sense. Um, and so today, once again, we're going in the Roma. We're going down an airfield, but I'm sure they're not going to let me film that because they've got cameras themselves. So there's logic in there somewhere. Um, so at the moment, I know you guys have seen little to none footage of Ferrari. And uh, what you guys saw of Ferrari is pretty much what I saw, apart from if you want to see what I saw, go on Google Maps and look at some buildings, because that is quite genuinely what we did. Um, apart from that, today we are driving Roma down an airfield, and then we are heading to a very special place indeed, but I'm going to try, try and make a video out of that in itself because I know this whole tour 
every chance I've had to make footage has gone completely wrong. So I'm sorry for you guys. I don't even know what the fir this film's going to be like, but I really hope that it's still entertaining in some way. Um, you can probably tell by <laughs> my demeanour that I'm pretty exhausted from it all. Um, it's been a lot of driving and uh, if I'm honest I didn't really need to fly, uh, drive out to Italy to uh, look at some buildings and then drive a car that I've driven uh, several times but anywho uh, hopefully today will be a little bit different and hopefully I can actually get some footage for you guys so without further ado let's hopefully head to the runway or you may just the video may end here I don't know all right ciao so we've just actually had a bit of an update, um, so the cars are coming here, um, the camera is attached to the car, not my camera, their camera, they give me a little SD card that looks something like this, give me a moment, um, so basically they give us one of these which has a SD card in, we plug it into the car and the footage records us, but all the footage is, is of looking straight at me so unless you guys want to stare at me driving a fast car not seeing the car this could be an interesting video uh we're going to the museum later which i do know which i'm going to hopefully be able to show you guys some cool cars i mean obviously you guys can probably see it anyway but nevertheless i'm going to bring you guys some cool footage there so i'll see you in a minute The same engine of Portofino M. Yeah, that's good. I like the new paddles. You like? Yeah, I prefer it to the original ones. A bit more, these are a bit more firm. Go straight in that direction. That way, go go. Very nice, a lot more uh, comfortable than... It's so comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Just only to show you, I put automatic. Okay, yeah. Just only to show you also how they manage the gearbox. Look, 7 gear now. Yeah, it's very 50 good. 50 kilometers yeah. per hour. Yeah, it's very good. And the car is so smooth. We are speaking very well without noise. Uh... It's very responsive. It feels yeah. and moves. Is it rear wheel steering? This one, the rear. rear wheels, no. do they move? No. It certainly feels like it. The new controls for the steering wheel are... You like? I like it. Well, I think it, it takes a while to get used to, I suppose. Sure, for sure, for sure. Um, First time, you can remain a little bit confused. Yeah, sure. But after, it's very easy to have Everything under yeah. control with the with the finger. It's perfect. I prefer the indicators. Yeah. This is so much easier because the, the the last one you kept pressing. No, no. It. But because Easy. you're not used to, if you use like that, after ten minutes, it's very easy. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because on the four eight eight, it's the same. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But the thing is, is that with this, you don't have to move your hand. You can just click it with this. It's perfect. So much easier. The interesting thing is I drove, drove a SF90 the other day. You, you drove? Yeah. You like? I do like, although I felt it was too, um, almost too perfect. <laughs> because like driving the Pista, when you drive it, 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 it feels almost scary, a little bit on edge. The SF90 is so well balanced. Yes. You sort of look down and you go, oh, okay, I'm going that fast. Yeah. Rather than with the Pista, you're holding on going, Jesus. Do you know what I mean? It's a very... The thing exactly. is... is we are using that car uh, uh, on the racetrack. Yeah. And it's amazing. Oh, I can imagine what yeah. it is. I can imagine, yeah. The same test drive. Uh, so... Four or five days of... Uh, yeah. yeah, left. Yeah. Okay, andiamo a live car. L'ultimo mi dia via come prima. Okay. Okay, I go.
Okay, so we did the runway drive. It was a 200 km an hour, like straight line, so not exactly content there. We're about to head in the museum. What's quite cool though, we've got the two Koenig's eggs outside the front of the Ferrari um, museum. They're probably furious, but deal with it. Uh, yeah, it was it was interesting. I had an interesting chat with the test driver. It was uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Um, maybe spotted a couple of prototypes. I don't know. I don't know if it's if uh, he would call it a four x four, maybe whatever you like. But uh, we're gonna head into the uh, into the museum and have a little look around. So let's get to it. Special Projects 488 Challenge car, also pretty epic. But the car for me is definitely the FXXK. I just think it's it takes the beauty of the LaFerrari and then the extremities of what Ferrari can do and it puts it into something that is truly, truly quite exceptional. But we are now on a drive to a very, very special location, not far out of Italy. So next video, you guys will be seeing it, but we're taking the Koenigsegg somewhere rather interesting so without further ado to the next video as always thanks for watching cheers